Ah, the Moogle, our furry little floaty friend who wishes us nothing but good spirit, good health, and good fortune. The Final Fantasy 3 Moogle looks like they would beat someone up if they called you ugly. The FF5 Moogle looks like they'd definitely share their cheese puffs with you. You'd likely get incredibly drunk with the Final Fantasy 6 Moogle, but have the time of your life. The OG FF7 Moogle looks like he'd probably hit on your mom or sister every single time he comes over to hang out. The Crisis Core Moogle's a funny little fella, always telling jokes, quite dry most of the time, but knee slapping nonetheless. The FF8 Moogle looks like they'd purr if you were to offer them a fish. The Final Fantasy 9 Moogle just straight up smokes way too much weed, and not very good stuff at that. Final Fantasy X Moogle is struggling to pay their rent and is quite likely an alcoholic. There are no Moogles in this one. Final Fantasy XI Moogle is a Riz God. This is Bugs Bunny cosplaying as a Moogle. You could trust the Final Fantasy XIII Moogle with your life. The FF14 Moogle is the most respectful FedEx delivery person there ever was. Unlike our scenario with the FF10 Moogle, the 15 version here loves their job. They just simply like to put smiles on children's faces. Again, this is not a Moogle. This is a cosplayer. FF16 Moogle will slap your ass, but you'll enjoy it. The Tactics Moogle is if a Moogle, Bugs Bunny, and Mickey Mouse f this would be the result. Typo Moogle would definitely make a bubble bath for you. I want to pet the sh** out of the Crystal Chronicles Moogle. The Distidia Moogle is allergic to bee stings. He is in urgent need of an EpiPen. The Mobius Moogle bakes the best goddamn oatmeal cookies your taste buds have ever had the pleasure of absorbing. The Stranger of Paradise Moogle would choke slam the school bully into a wall. The Kingdom Hearts Moogle will mark up any item it can get its greedy fingers on by four times the amount of the retail price. They'll also try their best to swindle you into an extended warranty program along with scratch protection on any purchase you make, even if it doesn't even make sense in the first place for the item that you're buying to have an extended warranty or scratch protection. They'll unnecessarily ask you for credit card information even if you're making a physical purchase. You're also required to hand over any social security information upon any purchase. I'm also fairly certain that the Moogle is collecting all of these rocks and different materials in order to create a super weapon to destroy all of the known Disney worlds, likely working for the Master of Masters. These Moogles love money, and nothing but money, but at least they're cute. All right, I'm pretty sure this Moogle here from Days is a drug dealer, but still, at least they're cute. The Mario Hoops 3-on-3 three -three Moogle <laughs> do be ballin'. But this guy right here, this Moogle, the Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy Moogle? Oh, this is an absolute disdain to that of the Moogle race. Why he got teeth? What's up with that? And look at that beady thousand yard stare. Also, is this a humanoid koala thing? This ain't no Moogle I've ever seen before. At least the Bugs Bunny hybrid thing from Final Fantasy 12 is acceptable. The f is this? I wouldn't touch this Moogle with a 10 foot prodding pole. This is the type of mother f that would befriend you, find out about who you're crushing on, end up flirting with your crush, knowing full well you've been trying a bibble babble with them for the past four years. They would definitely spit in your chicken fettuccine when you're not looking. The type of guy to turn on the fucking sink when you're having a shower intentionally because they know you're about to get a cold spurt on your nipples. The type of meathead to rudely take the last chicken wing on the dinner table without etiquettely asking if anybody else would want it. The type of dude to steal your blockbuster membership card and rent out 20 movies and never fucking return them, meaning that the destruction of your membership card is inevitable, is without a single doubt a mouth breather, never hangs up the towel whenever it has a shower, doesn't even flush when it takes a f***ing poogle, can't even be horse ass to do its own parenting, so asks you to do all the f***ing work for it. And at the end of all of that, oh this Moogle is 100% a skooma dealer. Unlike that Kingdom Hearts Days Moogle, that Moogle's only dealing pow poo leaves, alright? Do you know how many families have been torn apart by skooma? Millions. The damage is so severe, it's now reached into other planes of existence, reaching far beyond its origin grounds of that of the Elder Scrolls. Yeah, people aren't too happy with this Moogle. So the recent takes on the Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth and Crisis Core Reunion Moogle has been uh, sort of the forefront, I guess, of Rebirth conversation. Interestingly, this Moogle has been known since Remake. It was actually in Remake for the Chocobo and Moogle Summon. I feel like, though, it's just sort of more in the player's face when it comes to Rebirth. Hence, the discussion topic of this sort of circulating at the moment. This conversation, though, got so big 
that Square Enix actually had to step into the scene. Dad literally had to open the door with the belt and assure everyone that any bad mouthing of this Moogle is simply not allowed. The funniest thing about this too is this actually started to stem from the Japanese side of Twitter. Uh, and then of course the westernized side started to catch on and was basically in agreement of like, yeah, this is the strangest looking iteration of any Moogle I think we've had so far. I got no idea who this character is, probably popular in Japanese culture, but uh, the Moogle is being compared to this character. Very good take, I definitely see the resemblance. We got a nice little doodle right here from a Japanese user on Twitter. Tifa receives an obscene letter from a malicious stalker. <laughs> This tweet also coming from the same user is fantastic. A little bit of a catfish setup. This is what the Moogle looks like online versus how they actually look in real life. I follow both Japanese and American people here and I love how both cultures agree that Rebirth Moogle looks cursed as f- Hey, these edibles ain't shit! Oh, woo! The only Moogle that's legally allowed to have their eyes open is from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Seven Rebirth Moogle looks like it chews on your fingers at night while you sleep. I let the Moogle fall off the cliff in FF6 and he's back to haunt me. <laughs> Jesus. Worst Moogle I've ever seen. Yeah, this is a great comparison tweet. The FF7R Moogle looks like a Nintendo YouTuber whose DMs would be career ending. Okay, all right. Well, hold on a minute. Wait, where are we going with this one? I mean, <laughs> I kind of see it though. This sh is absolutely zooted. This is a sleep paralysis Moogle. This is a Moogle. Cutie, huggable, gives me whimsical items and quests. Your friend. This is Miguel. Wanted in seven countries. Don't touch me. Might try to sell you crack would call a hit on you. Yeah, you guys get the general gist. A lot of people are just not happy about the new Moogle and are absolutely throwing hands at it. Personally speaking, I do think it looks a little bit strange. It's this weird in between of like, it looks cursed, but it looks cute at the same time but then it just goes back to looking really cursed. And I think this is stemming from the realism aspect of the Moogle. This is definitely the most realistic looking Moogle uh, we have ever seen in amongst all of the iterations of Moogles throughout Final Fantasy and other Square Enix media. I think though, the cutesy, wootsy, more cartoon style design, even if it is a Final Fantasy game that is more along the lines of realistic visuals like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth should always remain to look cutesy and cartoonish. Final Fantasy has mostly always been, especially if we're looking at the mainline games, a game that tries to tackle fantasy realism in the ways of its visual aesthetic to that degree with the type of graphics that it has. If we look at Final Fantasy 16, which is comparable from a visual standpoint to that of Final Fantasy 7 Remake and Rebirth, 16's Moogle is still very cutesy wootsy cartoony and not realistic like everything else that you see throughout the game. And I think it's just that jarring comparison of comparing the original Final Fantasy VII Moogle to that of the new one. Uh, there is no resemblance whatsoever in the slightest. At least you could look at the OG FF7 Moogle and be like, okay, yeah, that definitely looks like a Moogle that's part of the Moogle family. God help us if for Kingdom Hearts 4, because Sora is now in like a realistic real world being like basically Tokyo, Japan, I really hope that in this new reality Sora is in, this is not the sort of Moogles we come across. I'm gonna talk about some rebirth spoilers to do with the Moogles. So just in case you guys haven't done all of the mog stools throughout the game, please click off the video right now. There is something that is actually kind of cool that happens with the Moogles in the game, and that's that Cloud literally gets turned into a Moogle when you finish all of the mog stools. Yeah, we get to experience a Cloud Moogle wielding a miniature Buster Sword. However, man, this cutscene cracks me the f up. When a Moogle talks, it generally says Koopo. It usually always has a high pitch voice as well. No, Cloud's voice remained in his Moogle form. And with him saying Koopo and nothing but Koopo, there is something deeply cursed about this. Koopo? Koopo. 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 Koopo po. Koopo. I don't know if this man is suffering at the hand of Moogle magic or not. I, I don't know if this is a cry for help. Do we need to save our boy Cloud? I'm unsure. However, going forward, let's just, you know, remain with the cutesy wootsy, non-cursed, uh, ones that do not have teeth. The teeth 
they make me feel really uncomfortable. But I don't know, what's your guys' opinion here on YouTube? I would love to know. Alright well, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, check out my other social media platforms, and thank you so much to all of the Turkey Tastic patrons. I'm Cynical, hopefully you're having a great one, and we'll talk real soon.